What's good, y'all? This your boy, Boss. I want to thank you for checking out the channel. And on today's episode, we'll be talking about Dr. Dre still in ICU a week following his brain aneurysm. But before we get to that, the first story of today is the rapper, Harlem rapper Mace, is going back to the church. Here we go again. Pastor Mace is officially back, it seems. The veteran New York rapper left the rap scene 20 years ago to become a pastor, which surprised the music world. He returned to rap world in 2004 and since then has been on and off with a stance which has often met with criticism from fans and some from his peers, including Cameron. In 2017, he was engaged in a beef with Cameron over Dipset rapper's comments about him. The two dropped diss tracks against each other which involved a lot of cursing, something that the section of his followers did not appreciate, but it looks like he is now returning full time to the church once again, the Gathering Oasis Church of Atlanta has announced Pastor Mason Betha as their new leader. Join us in welcoming our new leader, Pastor Mason Betha, they announced on Twitter and Instagram, which obviously received a mixed reaction. I'm trying to see what's funny. Congratulations, Mace. God is doing a new thing, wrote one user. Yes, Pastor Mason's back, wrote another. Find some more comments about Mace's decision below. I don't know why I said that. These comments are horrible. No man is perfect. We are all God's children. Stop judging people. Let God work in whom he chooses. Makes you confused, dog. How can y'all be children of God but yet be so judgmental? Don't subject someone inside a box so you wouldn't want someone to put you in. People grow. So, let's talk about this for a minute. Um... I kind of have some of the same sentiments that some of these people had with these comments. Um, we all know Mace was a, a great rapper and at his height, he was one of the biggest rappers in the game. And we really don't know what went wrong with that. I think he got fame and the money too fast and he didn't like the things that came with that. So he ran away, ran to Atlanta joined the church, found God, and then he became a pastor. So I was like, cool, I'm cool with that. But now he come back and then he say he want to rap again. And then he go back to the church and then he say he, he forgot again. It's just like, make your mind up, Mace. You can't, you can't do both, bro. Either you going to be a rapper and you going to do this rap stuff, or you going to be in the church. Like, I do agree with what one of the people said in the comments saying that nobody's perfect, but at the same time, I feel like Mace, Mace is playing with God with this because it's like, he just keep double dutch in and out, in and out. I want to rap. I want to be with church. I want to rap. I want to be with the church. And I think it really all really come boils down to his money because if y'all don't know, a lot of these pastors make a lot of money in the church and Mace the church that he used to have, he made a lot of money doing that then. Now in the rap game, it's still, it's way more money than it was when he was in the game. These artists are making tons and tons of money, but at the same time, I, I feel like his era is over and I maybe think he sees that too. So he's like, let me go back to my bread and butter, which is the church and quote unquote do this for God and spread the message and all that like I don't have no problem with anybody finding God and wanting to be in the church my problem is pick a side bro either you gonna do this church shit or you gonna do this rap shit either or it can't be both of them you can't be double dutching and doing whatever you wanna do whenever you feel like it that's my stance on it let's get to the next story of today in other news all right, y'all, let's get to the last story of today, which is Dr. Dre still in ICU a week following his brain aneurysm. Dr. Dre scared the world when he admitted he was in ICU after suffering a brain aneurysm on January 4th. Although he released a statement the same day saying he was doing great, he still remains in ICU as doctors try to figure out what was the cause of the issue. 
Sources tell TMZ that the super producer and businessman remains in ICU at Cedar Sinai Medical Center in LA as doctors continue to do various of tests. Doctors also want him in ICU for now just in case a medical emergency happens. Doctors have reportedly also informed his family that he seems to be out of danger at the moment, which is good news. I'm doing great and getting excellent care from my medical team. I will be out of the hospital and back home soon. Shout out to all the great medical professionals at Cedars, he said in a statement last week. So let's talk about this. Um, when I first seen this news about Dr. Dre having a brain aneurysm and he went to Cedars side night, I was like, oh my God. I don't know if y'all be paying attention, but in, anytime something happens to a rapper or any body with a prominent name and they end up at Cedar side night I hate to say it but they end up dying that's just the fact of the matter I don't know if Cedar side night is the biggest hospital in LA or it's the best hospital I don't know but if I was ever in LA and something happened to me I would not want you to take me to Cedar side night because it, I just feel like that's where people go to die I'm just sorry I am glad that Dr. Dre is doing good but I just, it kind of scared me for a minute because, you know, we just had this epic 2020 just last year with a lot of prominent people that we love passing away. And now here we go in 2021 and we get this news of Dr. Dre in ICU. So it's just like, God damn, when is this shit going to stop? I've seen a lot of people. I don't, I don't even know why I'm bringing this up, but I will bring it up. I've seen a lot of people talking about this is this is Dr. Dre's karma and he deserved what he get because of his allegations of him beating up women and things of that nature. This is not his karma. This is a medical condition. Something is going on. Hopefully the doctors find out what's going on in time so they can prevent this from happening again. But people need to stop being miserable and stop with that bullshit. Like this man is I ain't going to say he was on his deathbed. We really don't know what happened, but this man is hurting. His family's hurting. He's going through a divorce right now. He's going through a lot of stuff, but people always want to be negative and find the most negative shit to say. And I, all I got to say is shut the fuck up and stop saying that silly ass shit when people are actually going through real serious things. So that's all I got to say on the topic. Hopefully, Dr. Dre pulls through and we see him home very soon. I want to thank y'all for checking out today's episode of In Other News, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.